out and national champ again and we had to wrestle today a tough opponent in the final so you know yeah talk about uh, what it took to, to get not only the points you scored but to, to get the upper hand in that battle. yeah i mean it's always tough when it it's somebody who knows you really well you know um there's just a lot of you know we see each other train we know what makes each other tick you know where we like to be so yeah I just went into that match um just wanting to be patient knowing that i'm good enough for my points to open up as they come and not having to force them and you know it's a six whole minutes um and a win's a win at the end of the day so don't force anything and but you know i feel like i started racking up the points as time went on and um yeah it just it was a good match <laughs> Obviously, the song event will uh, a period of uncertainty and just trying to get back in the rhythm of what you do. Did you feel really like, hey, this is me wrestling out there? <laughs> right. Well, it was weird because, first of all, this was my first domestic tournament down at 50 kilos. So it was a whole new group of girls. Um, and then on top of that, like, I feel like every competition I had done, was very like, you know, it was a ranking tournament, it was Olympic qualifiers, you know, like very high stress tournaments. And obviously every time I wrestle, there's a lot of anxiety, but I, I gave myself a little grace with this competition, just, you know, with the situation and everything. And so I feel like it did make it very strange, you know, I'm like, oh my goodness, like, I'm kind of like, what is happening, you know? So, but it was good. And I feel like as the day went on, I felt more and more in my element, more and more normal. And then obviously finals, you know, you put us under the lights and you put a smoke machine out there, you know, I'm coming to wrestle, I'm coming to rip your head off. And, and, and that felt just like any other day, you know? So there's a lot of uncertainty about the schedule and things like that. But what would you like to do after this as far as competition? When do you want to get on the mat? Oh, I live for competing. I mean, that's why I'm here, right? Like, I'm sitting in the finals of trials. I don't, you know, I'm giving people more chances to feel me, but I want to be out here. Like, I love to compete. <laughs> I do! I'm so excited! Right back here, Hawkeye Wrestling Club, November 1st. But yeah, I, w I love to compete. You know, the pizza day of drilling any day. <laughs> That's what I tell my coaches. I'm like, yeah, get me on the mat competing so I don't have to go drill all day. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll, as things pop up, I obviously need to be smart about it um, just because timing my weight cuts and all of that, I want it to be very logical. Um, but yeah. Hoping we can get overseas at some point before Olympic trials, get my hands on some international girls as well as get a camp going. And um, so, yeah, as they come, I am, I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, let me open up for questions. Mark Vader, you're good. All right. Uh, we kind of talked like ring rust or if there was, you know, anything like that after the semis and clearly it wasn't. I really, I thought your timing looked great. Um, and, and I guess I'm, one of my questions is, uh, First time making 50 kilos domestically, how, did, how was the cut and did you feel as good as you looked? Um, well, it was nice. We, they, we got two kilos, but okay. still with the, you know, coming off of quarantine, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say I didn't put on some kilos. <laughs> so it's still a weight cut, um, but it felt great. And, and honestly, with my whole weight cut in the beginning of 2020, there were a lot of mistakes. Like at Rome, you know, the ranking tournament in the beginning of the year, awful weight cut. And I felt like with every competition, I'm getting better. So coming into this one, there were a lot of mistakes I had made earlier in the year that I knew to kind of avoid. Um, so just really been, I talk about water being like the OG caffeine, like this will give you energy. This is the magical juice, not coffee. So I've really been on the hydration game and just trying to do everything really smart. So I, I felt pretty good today. Yeah, you look great. Congrats. Thanks. Congratulations, Sarah. Thank you so great much. Uh, yeah, Harper, extreme in the extreme arena. <laughs> <laughs>